All right, back at it. I already pulled out the um, turbo and reinstalled it. I don't know if you can see, but it's a feed line that goes down there and it is hell to get that feed line back in that hole. Well, this is where the oil goes in. And then you have a line where the oil comes out. From Amber Megan in the most I rise. Milking Celestia and bond them likewise. Now bow to them system when I promote life. I love conquer all to survive. The youth of side the lion of King Judah's tribe. And then the king of king of Ethiopian pride. Elected Man, I'm telling you, it's hard to get the... um. It's hard to get the the turbo back in to that uh, lead that line back into the um, to the hole because this this very very tight space back there. So I'm about to build all this up. Put my pipes back on, my gaskets back on, put my intake back on, and we're gonna see what she do. I mean, I, I know she's gonna fire back up, but it was just leaking oil out the bottom because the oil coming out. It wasn't lined all the way out, so lined all the way up. So um, the oil was coming out. It was seeping out the side, getting on the engine, and causing smoke. So, you know, of course, that's a fire hazard with everything getting hot as it's up in there. So I'm going to tighten my back, back up and um, get back to it. I got to bolt it back up. I put that high temperature gasket maker on there because it was a slight little uh, leak, exhaust leak. And I just wanted to make sure that you know, I shut that off because you know you can lose power that way. So I did that. Also, I was running uh, 10 pounds of boost. I turned it up to uh, 14 because again, the, the chip was uh, burned for it to run 14 PSI. I don't know if they got anything to do with how it's been running, um, but I want to see today. So we got the turbo back in, intake back on. Everything locked and loaded, so we're gonna fire up. Right, I got an island better. So I had my um I had my uh fuel pressure off a little bit, it was too hot. Um so the chip is programmed to run about 43 psi. That's about where I'm hitting. So you adjust your fuel pro actually gotta get adjustable fuel pressure regulator. I got that from Corbin. Performance. Unloosen this lock right here. The locking note. Unloosen this locking nut. And you can put an Allen wrench in there to adjust it. That's how you adjust your fuel pressure to line off. Line off of here. So, now my issue is getting my IEC down to um, around 11 and 12. I got my TPS right. So still open loop idle. And this is after I reset my, my chip because I wanted to make some adjustments and I was doing some things under the hood. So I um, had to disconnect the battery cable so the chip adjusts. So that's why your um, your BLMs or 128, cause that's a default setting. So once I drive it, all that adjusts. But I just wanted to fine tune a little bit of it right now and see what I'm see what I'm working with. But um, yeah, and this uh this brake light. Um, I think I have I think I threw off my uh proportion valve when I when I when I uh led the brakes. So I'm gonna I'm gonna redo the brake system. And hopefully that light goes away. And I put the line on. The press doesn't change that much. Idle drop down a little bit. I'm gonna do some more adjusting to the um, IEC. Adjust that. 
to adjust that with this little nut back here on the hot air. So I'm about to get to that. Get it's crazy. Right, so we got everything right. It's tightening. I'm about to um, run up here and grab some, some gas because I don't know how much I got left in this car. And I don't want to run out trying to get to the gas station. So I'm going to go around some gas, put some gas in it. And I'll take it up there after I fill it up after I do the brakes tomorrow because one of those calipers is locking up for some reason. So one of the calipers might one of the calipers might be bad and I have to replace it. Um I got an extra one though, so I'll be fine. But yeah, but this um this is how you you adjust your uh throttle position sensor and you unscrew these just a little bit and you just tap it until it gets way to your desired settings. But the thing about these cars, most of these guys know with these um with these Grand Nationals, you got to have a scan master yeah, or a power logger. If you don't have a scan master, you uh you can't tell what the car is doing. And the scan master is pretty much this th this little thing I'm gonna do right here. So it's connecting so once you turn on, once I turn it on, you know you'll see all the different parameters. But that is, that'll give you a retard, uh, mass airflow, LV8. No one can explain to me what that is. Um, the volts from your battery, INT. Um, I guess that's block learn memory. Speed, of course, coolant temperature, air temperature, RPMs. TPS while just discussing I see oh, that's your O2 readings that gives you whether you're closed loop tell you whether you're in park or neutral AC off and that tell you it's no no uh, codes present so yeah these cars are kind of fun you know what I mean but I, I I enjoy it so so yeah man I'm not gonna um swap it out i'm gonna keep this in there i'm gonna see how it runs with this extra uh four pounds of boost i just turned it up to because the um oh yeah it's an upgraded turbo that's a ta33 i found um another company that claims they can make a bigger millimeter turbo for the hot airs i'm gonna see and i might have to pull that out that's new but i just painted it a little bit but um might pull that out if i can go with a big that's i believe that's a 58 millimeter if um if I um if I want to see if I can get to a 62 with this with this situation, see how that see how that goes. I'm just gonna play with it, man. You know, it's just give me something to do instead of going to the casino and playing poker all the time. And um oh yeah, you also gonna need a uh, adjustable wastegate because from the factory they don't come with adjustable wastegates, and you can also get those from um curb and performance they come with two different kinds or they have they used to sell two different kinds i don't know if they still like i bought that like last year but um the one they have goes up to maybe um 30 psi i want to say and i think this one goes up to like 22 psi don't get me wrong but you can go on the site i mean i was a year ago and i looked at that that, that information but you can go on the site and they'll tell you you have two different but this car i never this car not gonna see twenty pounds of boost, so that one was sufficient for me. So, um, so yeah, man, we gonna go grab some fuel, and um, tomorrow I get back with you guys. Tomorrow I'm, I'm gonna adjust the uh, the um, coilovers because this side is rubbing for some reason. It's rubbing, and we also have your bump steer kit. But I'm gonna have somebody install that because they're gonna have to um, do an alignment with the bump steer kick. So what happens when you change the control arms and your tie rods, you know, change the rod height. Actually, so this car is really not lower. It's really higher than it was when I, before I changed it because, you know, core load is supposed to lower the car. But um, this car is actually higher because the springs were almost 40 years old. So they are compressed a lot. So when I put these on, it actually uh, raised the car. So I lowered it a little bit, but now I have very severe bumps still when I go across the bumps. So I'm mean, gonna um, go ahead and, and, and get that resolved. And we're gonna pull everything out the interior and get that right in the Zach. But this is how we're looking, man. I'm gonna get back with you guys later. Peace. sound amazing.
Let there be light, he said. Yeah, I just had to get y'all that little bit, man. I just had to get y'all a little demonstration. Boy, when this joke here gets done, it's gonna be a beast. I'll let 